Hey everyone, um, this video is going to go over something I see a lot in uh, in games, it's shift queuing. A lot of people, On my way. I think, use shift queue more than they need to, and they it, it's causing them to not Leaving. cast things as fast as possible. So for those that don't know, shift queuing is if, if you hold shift and just start inputting commands like you normally do, you'll see these you know, flags, spirit. and it, it'll just do all of them in succession, and then if you know you say, "Oh, I want to move here," and then cast Nature out, calls. he'll do that. He'll hit the spot, and then cast out, um, which is great. Um, but um, mm -hmm. people are using it for everything, so every single spell, every single movement. I don't think you necessarily want to. I think the only time I use it is uh, um, for blinkers um, that want to queue up their moves, and then when I TP and I want to walk. So In it's great. Silver you don't shade. have to. This will if you shift queue after you TP. Um, You'll walk as soon as he TPs, so no so more no I more don't. canceling TPs, which is good. Uh, but I think what people don't understand is just like your attack Ooh, animation, there's a front and back swing. Um, the spells you can cast another spell as soon as sort of that front animation ends and the the spell comes out. So for instance, as soon as these trees come out, you can cast your next spell. But if you shift Q he won't cast his next spell. He won't input the next spell until his, if you look, uh, yes. so you can see, his arms have to pull back. Oh, stop, stop attacking that guy. Well uh, um, his arms have to pull back. So he won't cast until his arms go pull all the way back. So Naturally. I'm going to sprout <laughs> and then nature's call um, shift Q. So, so that, that is shift Q. That takes a long time. And I'm sure you guys are like, wait a minute. It's, that's not how fast By it should take. So this is without mark. shift Q. So if you kind of spam a little bit to get the fastest thing possible, then it'll go faster. But even if I only press it once, as soon as those first set of uh, sprouts come out, you can cast another spell. Um, and it goes with every single hero. But the thing is, not um, heroes don't necessarily have, not all the spells have long back swing animations as uh, Nature's Prophet. Um, so Nyx is actually, his spells are really good. So. Um, I'm, when I say really good, they're not, they don't have a lot of back backswing to them, so his, uh, his impale, you can impale and then walk right away, and then that will shift Q, and then it'll basically be the same if I, uh, do it manually, but for his vendetta, I see a lot of people, you know, Nyx is in pubs, you go mid and you get a dag and you just hit him with vendetta and they just spam all your spells, People shift Q Vendetta with the right click. You can't do that because he will continue to right click until he dies before he casts his his other spells. So if you go in Vendetta and this is gonna be Shift Q, I'm gonna right click on him and then try to cast my other spells. So this is everything. He'll he won't cast his other spells until he dies from right click. And so with Vendetta you're gonna have to hit manually and then you have to manually click you have to manually cast your impale instead of shift queuing it, and then afterwards you can you can uh, do the mana burn. And Nyx is fine doing shift queue. Um, basically, anything that has an instant recovery time on the spells. So you can check this by if you cast a spell, you can walk right after. There's no, there's almost no backswing to it, and it, it, it's the same for items. So Dagons, they have no cast time, no backswing time. You just cast it and you start walking around. So shift queuing is really good for those types of things, but, um, Very so well. another example would be, uh, Puck. So you want to cast, if you blink in, right, you Dream Coil and Waning Rift, um, you want to cast your illusionary, your orb, and then phase shift while your blink comes up. I said that wrong, but whatever. So you want to, you want to cast your orb and then phase shift. So this is shift Q. Yeah. It's pretty fast, but not as fast as it could be. What? what? So this force. is not without shift key. So as soon as my orb comes out, I just press E. It's almost instantaneous. So I this is shift Q again. So there's a. I don't know if you can see it. Get Commendable it notion. There's like he has to pull his hands back, but it's like a third of a second delay that could cost you like a. Um, 
I don't know, if someone sees you and tries to cast like a silence on you or something, it, it could make the difference. So again, the shift Q, and then without shift Q. As soon as you see the orb, you just you can cast the next spell. It's my my rice cooker. Um, queen. Oh, yes. Her her shadow strike actually has a long animation. You got it coming. So this is shift Q. So I'm going to Forward. shadow strike and then scream. Whereas Sweet. if you do it manually, you can just throw the shadow strike and scream as soon as you see that little pellet come out. Yes. This is shift Q. Not without, without shift Q. And same goes with their ultimate. There's a little bit of back swing to it. So this is shift Q. Scream afterwards. Not shift Q. So I, I casted it. As soon as I see some sort of color come out, I'm pressing A. So. Um, I think it was pretty good. I just see a lot of people. Like, uh, you can cast his uh, Midnight Pulse and Black Hole right away. It's pretty much the same. He has almost no backswing, so... But I see a lot of people do the... Like, they shift Q this, or they cast this way too far. And I guess this really doesn't have anything to do with this video, but... This is your cast range for the Black Hole. Do not go over it, or else you're going to be doing, you know, one of these things. Oh, I'm walking to it. That walk? One, people are going to start blinking and more staff in the way, or silence you. Um, Sand King. So, um, shift queuing blink is good. Let me, how do I say this? Shift queuing blink is, I mean, shift queuing the epicenter is good, but don't do it until the last moment. And if you're going to do it at the last moment, you might as well just not shift uh, blink. It'll save your fingers, I guess, some um, some energy, um, but people cast the epicenter and then blink or shift Q the blink right away. Um, he, it's a two second cast time, so again, in those two seconds, people could be moving around and stuff. So you always want to try to wait as long as possible before you initiate your shift blink because the only way to break it is to input another command without a shift. So, and if you do that, you're going to break your epicenter. So if you cast this and start shifting and then this guy blinks away, you're kind of screwed. Or like he starts moving, why can't I control this guy? He starts moving away from where you, you uh, initiated blink to, then you're just going to hit nothing. So not necessarily bad to shift Q with him, but just try not to do it as soon as you cast the ultimate. Wait as long. Oh, wait, there's one other person. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, I wanted to show a uh, storm. I think this is a spirit. No? How did that not work? Storm. No. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to so, uh, one shift key from Storm. So, Storm is. Uh, Without a doubt. So let's say you buy a dragon, right? You can uh, use your ultimate, and Forward. in your ultimate, you can use items. <clears throat> and you don't necessarily have to shift key this, but um, if you ult, you can you know, cast the dragon on someone going by. But a good escape is uh, to ball lightning and then shift Q your TP scroll. So if you ball lightning, he'll, as soon as he starts, uh, and I, I know I put it on what the fuck mode, but as soon as he uh, starts going ball lightning, you start TPing too. So he'll still travel away. It's basically a free escape. He'll still travel away while I'm channeling his TP spell. So, the battle um, begins. what I do yes. is I will ball lightning and then just hold shift and double tap this I'm here. my item for TP scroll. Zip. So it's really good for escape. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to show that real quick. But yeah, 
Shift Q, you just gotta be careful with it. Like I said, the only time I use it is when I TP and I um, want to walk immediately. And then as soon as I walk, I just start, I mean, as soon as I start walking, I, I regain control of my hero and um, <clears throat> play like normal, I guess. Oh yeah, and then uh, the runes too, or placing wards. You know, you grab, click this, and then Shift Q and keep moving. Saves you a little bit of time. Same with uh, wards. If you wanna grab them and plop them on there. Actually, let me show that. So, um, one thing with the wards is, uh, a lot of people look at the minimap. So let's say someone had vision here, right? And you're walking here, and you're supporting, mm -hmm. you're warding. Like if you look at the minimap, do 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 do, you go here, and then if you walk mm -hmm. here and then place a ward, you're gonna face the direction of the ward. You place it, and then you walk away. Um, and there's like that one second delay. Um, you go here, oh, I'm going to place the ward here, and then I'm going to walk away. Mm -hmm. See that delay right there? Um, that's really obvious that you place the Your ward, but if people aren't necessarily paying attention, you can just shift Q it and try to uh, <coughs> move as fast as possible. So you place the ward here, and then just keep walking, shift Q down. It's like... There was like a hesitation, but if they're not really paying attention, they Forward. might not see, know that you placed the ward. Um, but if you go like this, and then walk, I mean, even if you're as fast as uh, going as fast as possible, you still have that delay. Or like, if you try to place it Without and then walk, um, you know, you have that little bit of delay. So just something to think about. But yeah, shift Q's got to be careful. Mm. Hopefully this helps.